Hi dear Scorpios, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ella. Today we will be doing your December 2019 and also year end tarot reading. We're going to be using different oracle, different astrology. And anyway, let's see what you guys are dealing with. To be honest, for you guys, this is going to be a crazy month. Um, crazy good months. Because Mars has been in your 12th house, going to be entering your sign, again, Western astrology. So I feel like for a lot of you, if you've been feeling like, oh my god, I have no energy, like, I just, like, I just want to sleep all day, this is how I've been, by the way, like, just no energy at all, and I think finally you're going to get your strength, your energy back, you're going to become also more, like, dynamic and self-expression, so if you've been feeling like... You cannot put words together and, you know, everything is just going insane with Mercury retrograde, you know, it was Mars in your 12th. I feel like you guys could have made some adjustments necessary in your life and now you're ready to, you know, go after things that you want. Let's start with an oracle card for you guys. We have here Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter. Mm. So I feel like for some of you there is still this process where maybe you are getting rid of the things that really are interfering with the stuff you need to get done. We all know that sometimes there is like a thousand things on our dailies or thousands of things in our closet, but these things are not actually helping, they're hurting like the progress. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are, maybe you already went through this process recently, or maybe you're still going through this, where you're just taking all of the stuff where like, uh-uh, I don't need this person, I don't need this thing, like I need to have my clarity in my space or in my mind or whatever it is. So maybe even with Mercury retrograde, you went through this pre-assessment of, okay, this belongs in my life. This is what I want. I got to focus my intention on that. And this, you know, not today. And this other thing, don't want this at all. So for some of you guys, there might've been a tendency like that. Let's see with Tarot. For all my Scorpio, Scorpio rising sun and moon. What do we have here? All right, okay, we have here very interesting Six of Swords reversed and also Knight of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you there was this moment, this process, this very long process of separating yourself from something and finding yourself again. It might have not come easy for you at all. I'm almost feeling like you guys here been trying to leave some kind of situation and it's not been coming, coming the way you thought it would be. However, suddenly there was this one moment where this has fallen off your radar. So I'm seeing a scenario for some Scorpius where you've been trying to move on from someone or something for the longest time and then suddenly it just kind of, you're not even thinking about it. With the Knight of Pentacles, you instead becoming very, I feel like, focused here on where do you go from this point on. I'm almost seeing some Scorpius here are accepting where they are right now in life with whatever situation, with your love situation, with any other situation. And you are asking yourself, so where do I go forward? Where do I go from here? All right. I'm also seeing there is a person here. Could be younger, younger or maybe even same age. Earth sign. Who is, who wants to offer you something, but it's very hesitant. It's almost like they're scared to look stupid, I'm hearing. We have here Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, now we're talking. There is destined changes currently happening for you. I feel like for some of you, this process started around November 19, and I'm recording this, I'm not sure what day is it today, but basically around November 19, Jupiter at the Galactic Center asked you, and maybe for some of you, you've been seeing crazy dreams recently, or some kind of very vivid dreams. I feel like in your dreams, there was some kind of communication or even conversation, and you didn't need to even remember a communication, a conversation. Maybe you were just seeing a bunch of different symbols or different things that didn't make sense. But I feel like there was some kind of conversation between you and higher realms where you asked for something you really need in your life. You've been, you were asked, what do you want, Scorpio? What do we need to give you so that you could move forward to that next page, next step, whatever it is in your life? And it's something for some of you, I'm literally even seeing, you saw some kind of dream which was very vivid, which was very crazy. Maybe you normally don't see dreams, but th this dream actually has much f bigger meaning than what you perceive right now in the world. It has to do with the process that's going to be taking place in your life for the next two years. In the next two years, your life will change. So we are talking here like December, we are doing this December 2019, right? But I'm also even seeing 20 and 21. It's like there is 
a moment for you to shine that it's coming but it's not just about that this is deeper than that i'm almost seeing that for you you have played partially some kind of role or some kind of purpose in some way maybe it's connected to another individual and it's almost like now it's not about playing in another's movie but it is about your own movie here where do you want to be in your own movie do you get what i'm saying like it's not about the partner here even this much anymore who are you dealing with scorpio we have you <laughs> the devil you are dealing with a person here who is obsessed with you it is someone who doesn't want to let you go too scared to to come towards you um this person i'm seeing for some scorpius a bit of a crazy scenario there's a person here who thinks you put a spell on them <laughs> i'm resonating with this message i'm scorpio rising but the truth is i don't think you put a spell on them i don't know you tell me scorpio did you because I think you were just you. You were so unapologetically authentic and honest and you spoke your mind. And when you loved, you loved like crazy. And when you hated, you hated like crazy. You were authentic. You were from your soul. And maybe this person, wherever they are, they haven't come across people like that. So this really awakened their own soul, their own spiritual awakening. And they could have addictions. They could have a lot of, they could have, could have Capricorn Leo in their chart but it's like capricorn and leo yeah and but it's like they were in this world which was very shallow and suddenly here you come scorpio and you awakened and you rocked this person's world for to help them to get out of their mental prison however this person looks at this as that you like put a spell on them you did something like they tried to move on from you for the longest time this person oh wow for the longest time and where did it take them? High Priestess. Back to you. High Priestess could be Taurus here, but I feel like it is you here who is the priestess level of spirituality, occult, and everything of that nature. But you have the secret knowledge here, you have the sacred knowledge here, and you have the key to something also this person wants. In Taurus video, by the way, it was similar energy. And they know that. They know that. But it's like this person suspects you did something because they don't understand why also they cannot move on from you. But you have the key here. You have a lot of... You have this very feminine, like sacred feminine archetype energy. Very connected maybe to some kind of goddesses. Maybe you do some kind of goddess work as well. Maybe it's about being connected matriarchs, divine mother. Somebody here could also have placement in Libra where you have Spica, which is a very powerful star either on your moon I'm seeing here or Venus for some people and it is kind of like also this energy of fire and water that that almost like doesn't mix here but this person finds that whatever they do they always come back right to you energetically perhaps if you are like not talking or whatever ace of pentacles I feel like a new beginning here is possible but it's up to you what you want to do with this because I think you're very busy right now, you're busy as a bee, and I'm seeing something here about spring, maybe it's something you started in spring, also the coming spring could be very important, because I'm seeing you're also at the stage right now where you start blooming, where you start blossoming. Underneath is the hanged man, could be about spirituality, could be about even your creativity here, some of the things that you were working on behind the scenes for a very long time, let's see what else. What are some of the new developments with this person you're dealing with? This person who just can't get you out of their mind. We have here two of pentacles and two of cups reversed. Well, the good news is, is that this person still thinks about you. The bad news here is that there was a very precious soul connection that unfortunately became tainted here because the person here was maybe even juggling you with other job, other option. You were not their priority. And people always ask me, oh, so what does this guy doing? Is he happy with this girl or whatever? But the way I personally answer this to myself always, well, I know that this person is not with me right now. He chooses to be not with me. That's enough for me to not be worried about what this person is doing or choosing. You know, if you choose me, then I'm gonna think. But if you don't choose me, where do we go from there? There is nothing to go to. All right, we have here King of Cups, but this person, whoever it is, has feelings. I do see also for you, there can be a couple of different options. You could have a water sign, you could have a Capricorn, you could have a Leo, you could have a Pisces here. 
someone also here is just has all this love they accumulated for you in the previous time and it's like I want to give this to you you don't even know what what you mean to me they're saying two of swords but you really don't know because you probably for some of you either never heard this from them or maybe you heard this from them but then they did something where like you love me I really wish you didn't even love me because if you act like this how you love me I don't even want to know what you do if you don't love me you know what I mean and we have here the seven of pentacles it's something that you have been waiting on for so long you forgot even that you were waiting on that four of pentacles there is a part of you that's still holding on to I think either good memories or something that you've shared with this person and we have here seven of cups maybe it's even about some kind of inspiration or subconscious i'm seeing here your dreams because the scenario that i'm also seeing here is that on the surface level you might not be so much focused on this person's energy but what's happening sometimes let's say when you maybe meditate or when you maybe paint or create something or see a dream suddenly like their energy is still kind of like present around you which is annoying but do you want a new person, Scorpio? That's the thing. Or maybe you don't want anything right now. What do you want, Scorpio? That's the question. The world right now, it's like, it's asking you what my Scorpio wants. What can we give to our Scorpio to make their life better? Because Tower has been pretty intense. And you know, whenever we go in through tests, it's because we're being prepared to receive a great blessing. So, but do you still want this part? Maybe you want something new, Scorpio. Let's see, like, do you want someone new? Do you really want someone new? Or do you want a person from the past? I'm almost feeling like universe is asking you, what do you want, Scorpio? Like, you know, in a notebook, what do you want? What do you want? Ryan Gosling is a Scorpio. That Scorpio jacket, I think, in the drive. Very nice. Do check out Scorpio jackets, by the way. We have them in the March for the happy birthday. For the happy birthday of all Scorpios. Let's see, we have here seven of pentacles. It's like you've been waiting here on something, you even forgot what you were waiting on, I feel like. It's like, you know what, you've invested long, a lot of effort, and you've been waiting for a while, you already even forgot. It's like, you already moved on, I feel like, with your life, queen of pentacles. You are like manifesting right now, material wealth, different blessings, starting your own things, feeling very secure. The magician, exactly what I said, manifesting material stability, manifesting material blessings here. So it's like, I don't even know, do you want this person? Do you want someone new? Judgments. Many people say that it's a card of coming back. I don't see it as this card. I see judgment as rising up. I see judgment as a card where we are answering our own calling. And sometimes it has to do, yes, if another person feels this inner calling to come towards you or that or that they are like faced with the choice where they know finally that you are the one it can sometimes bring a person towards you however more than anything i feel like judgment is our own inner awakening and us starting to rise up to our potential spiritual awakening things that we are meant to do in this world this is what i feel here and this is what happened to you and you know that next year that's coming is going to be powerful you know that this year you've been prepared for something very, very powerful, for something very important. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you guys also given, invested, put your efforts into a lot of different things. Right now there's a lot of people for whatever reason that's also waiting on you. Maybe it's people, I don't see this, this is the people who are waiting on money or anything. I see like you maybe have like either supporters or family, friends who are like cheering for you. You can do this Scorpio type of thing. And they're waiting on you to finally be what they believe you can be. So it's like, I don't even feel like you guys are so focused on a new person or wanting someone new. King of Swords. Because it's almost like you guys are detached right now. And it's like, you're meeting also people maybe at this moment of time. Where the moment you start seeing that they're detached, not showing their feelings to you or too cold, you're like, I'm not even going there. I've, I've experienced this before. Let's see with the cat tarot, something we are not seeing here, because I'm almost feeling it all looks too good to be true. Scorpio doesn't care about the person from the past, person from the past is like all over you, new people are like eh. So let's see with the cat tarot, what are we not seeing here? And we, we're gonna do extended as well here to, to go even deeper into everything. 
we have here king of pentacles but what you don't know is that actually you are right now attracting a lot of interest there is somebody here quite well off quite wealthy as well they are not right now overly focused on you because they are focused on I think also manifesting some kind of material abundance, material stability. I think you will have even a choice in the coming months. Who do you want to deal with? I do think with the Mars going into your into your sign, you will be very focused on yourself, but also the opposite sex is going to be very attracted to you, Scorpios. We have here King of Cups. And what we don't know is actually there's a lot of people, I feel like, attracted to you, craving you, but you know, cat tarot for me is a little bit like, you know how a cat is, right? Cat is never in your face unless it's like asking you for food or something, right? Or wants to cuddle, like if it's a cuddly cat. Cats are mysterious creatures and like I'm taking the cat's deck and all of these kings are coming out. So it's like all of this men, maybe all of these different people interested in you, they are not really in your face right now. They're, they're kind of like observing you. They're not really expressing right now their feelings to you. But there is a water sign. There is an earth sign. There is an air sign as well. And we have here 10 of... This is 10 of cups. Sorry, this is 10 of pentacles. It's like everyone right now is focused on their own little thing. However, I feel like there is a person who misses if you have like physical contact with them physical experience they miss just holding your hand they miss just it's not even about intimate but it's like miss just touching you cuddling with you like holding you there is a person like that here too we have here justice because look what happened with the ten of pentacles here it's like somebody here been feeding another taking care of another but then somebody also has bitten the hand that basically been feeding them we're gonna take a look at this also a little bit and the, the extend it, what, what does this show. But I just feel like somebody was on the good terms with you also here, but now they're on the bad terms, but they do miss the things you've been giving them, the things that you've been doing for them. So my dear Scorpius, you are like manifesting your dreams and cleared out the cutter that was our first card. It does suggest here, even when it comes to suitors and people interested in you, maybe you also want to become more selective here because there's going to be a lot of people coming towards you especially again with mars going into your first sign many people are going towards you but you're also right now at this time where like you want to focus on yourself like you're not so focused on them and this is what makes all these people so crazy about you we have here share your voice come out of the cave persecution expression i feel like for a lot of you guys this is also the beginning of you really starting standing up for yourself it's almost like you guys might have been working on something even past months really hard preparing something behind the scenes and now you just want to go out there and speak up and shine and say what you want to say it's like there is this magical path that's unfolding in front of you it's like everything you ever wanted but you just gotta make it to the other side here this is beautiful i want to take you one last oracle card over here overall this is a month again so many people here are just going crazy about you but I feel like you are not into that. We have here seek the guide with noble ideals. It's almost like you are not even so much into that. You are looking right now for like a mentor. You're looking right now, I'm seeing somebody's looking for a manager. I'm seeing somebody here is looking for an assistant. I'm seeing somebody here is looking for maybe a coach of some sort. I'm seeing somebody here is doing a makeover of some sort. You're looking for some kind of more like a professional who again can help you, ease in your burden, help you with your stuff in some way. You're not so focused on love here. I feel like you're focused on yourself, but again, you radiate this very powerful sexual energy and a lot of people are just drawn to you. They can't even explain why. Anyway, we're going to take a look further into extended into all of these different kings because I see like at least like three, four different people here being coming towards you. We're going to take a look at this at the extended. Do check it out. So all the information about everything is in the description box. There is a 2020 personalized astrology video for entire year personalized on your birth chart. If you book it before December 1st, I believe it comes with a free package of classes, Terror and Astrology. This shirt is available in our merchandise shop as well. All the other information about readings and classes is in the description box. Follow me on Instagram as Astro and Wonderland. Thank you guys so much. I wish you amazing December and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.